Solving single variable equations using the mud tarnish method. It seems tricky sometimes when you first see single variable equations, so you should begin by asking yourself some questions. If you had a problem, like 3x plus 5 equals 14, what would you do? You'd ask yourself, what are all the steps I need to do to solve the problem? Now there's more than one way to solve it, but this is one way that I found kind of useful. Sometimes it helps to relate a problem to something completely different. You can find something that's common between them, even though they seem very strangely different. And what could be the same as 3x plus 5 equals 14? Would you believe Roman soldiers burying their jewelry? The Roman Empire in 286 BC consisted of Italy and the islands of Corsica, Sardinia, and Sicily. Almost 400 years later, it had grown to an area that now comprises 40 countries in Europe and Asia. to hide their jewelry. And what were they to do? They were strong, they were brave, they were well prepared. But what if they died in battle and their the family jewelry would be lost to the enemy? So they dug holes. They dug holes all over Europe, burying their jewelry before battle. And sometimes they died and they didn't come back to dig it up. And sometimes they forgot where they had buried their jewelry. This was not good. And they dug holes all over Europe. Some of the jewelry remained buried until today where people playing in the mud found it or found it with metal detectors. They found Roman rings tarnished and muddy. So how would we use this story to help us solve the equation 3x plus 5 equals 14? What's the mud in this equation? 5 is the mud. Why is it the mud? Because it's the easiest part of the equation to clean up, because it's only added to the x. You learned addition and subtraction before multiplication and division. It's easier to do, and how do we get rid of it? We wash off the mud by subtracting 5 from both sides of the equation, because subtracting 5 is the opposite of addition. The tarnish, on the other hand, is the number 3, which is attached to x by multiplication. To remove the tarnish, You've got to divide both sides of the equation by 3 because division is the inverse operation or opposite of multiplication. 3x divided by 3 equals 9 divided by 3, so x now equals 3, and the equation is solved. When you have a problem like this, you first should identify the mud. It's the number on the same side of the equation as the variable you're solving for, and it's either added or subtracted to the variable. To remove the mud, you perform the inverse operation to the equation on both sides using that same number. In the equation, 2x plus 4 equals 6, 4 is added to 2x, so you subtract 4 from both sides of the equation. In the equation, 7x minus 3 equals 4, 3 is subtracted from 7x, so you add 3 to both sides of the equation to help solve it. Your next step is identify the tarnish. The tarnish is a number multiplied or divided by the variable you're solving for, such as an x. And to remove it, again, you do the inverse operation on both sides, but in this case, the inverse operation will be either multiplication or division. And 2x equals 4, 2 is multiplied times x, so you divide both sides of the equation by 2. And x divided by 3 equals 6, you multiply both sides of the equation by 3, since multiplication is the inverse operation of division. Now we'll look at some other equations. 6x plus 2 equals 12. What would be the mud? 2 is added to 6x, so it's the mud. To get rid of it, you'd subtract 2 from both sides. The tarnish is 6, and it's multiplied by the x, so to get rid of it, you divide both sides of the equation by 6. Let's look at the mud and tarnish in these other problems. 12x equals 24 has no mud, but it has a tarnish of 12. 2x minus 4 equals 4 has a mud of negative 4 and a tarnish of 2. 
x divided by 3 minus 8 equals 13 has mod of negative 8 and a tarnish of 3. This mod tarnish way of looking at solving equations has many applications in math, both now and later on in your mathematical careers. Now remember, there's more than one way to solve this. You could solve for the tarnish first and then do the mud. But this is an easier way to do it. So now let's look at some of the applications. One thing you can remember is that single variable equations are very easy to solve using the mud tarnish method. But other equations later on that you'll get into that have more than one variable can also be solved this way. If you have an x, a y, and even a z, and you're solving for x, pretend that the y and the z variables are just mud. They're added to the x. Or if they're multiplied by the x or divided by the x, treat them like tarnish. Later on, even problems with fractions, square roots, and even complex numbers can be treated as mud and tarnish problems. Now, you won't find this mud and tarnish explanation in any textbook. But I think it's an easy way to remember which steps to use first to make solving a single variable equation and these other equations a lot easier. Remember, the only part of the equation that's never mud or tarnish is the variable you're solving for, and that variable you could think of as the ring of the equation. When you start solving a single variable equation, remember that, and put a circle around the variable you're solving for. That way you'll remember that it is the ring of the equation.